Ashtart. The Ferenzi Empire will be met with a new light and darkness, but the darkness will swallow the light and bring the empire to ruin. Imperial family praised for their silver locks. Princess Ashtart's unique black hair is immediately stigmatized as a bad omen. With her family shunning her for being the prophesied darkness, all Ashtart wants is to be loved, and learning magic is her sole option to achieving that. One day, she stumbles upon a spell of destiny that teleports her to an unknown place. Waiting for her, there is a boy in shackles named Abelion Elforman, who is anchored by a grim past of his own. Will these two be able to work together to bring light to their dark fates? Solitary Lady, Noble woman Hillis Inoadan has had lives seven lives, but she has always been regarded the same in all of them, meek, submissive, and a pest. But in her eighth resurrection, she no longer bends to the nobles that encircle her, nor does she continue to live in the shadows of her wicked brother and stepsister. With a sacred power passed down from her lineage and the title of family head, she sets out for revenge and to change the grave destiny that awaits her, Lady Avoni. Accused of being a witch and a murderer, Evoni's imprisoned. For years, she awaits the day of her execution, her back bearing scars from beatings inflicted by the guards who despise her. But one day, she is granted her freedom and place it into the guardianship of Grand Duke Schneider. Warmed by his doting staff and under his admiring tutelage, she regains her strength and becomes the wild card in an intricate game of power. With nothing to lose, will Evoni orchestrate a new future for the Empire? Sacrificed. An illegitimate daughter of Emperor Berthold Amaryllis of Vizio, Ludus has spent her entire life being mistreated and pushed into the shadows. Now, with the Vizio Empire standing on the precipice of destruction under the threat of demon spawn hordes, her father finds a new use for her in becoming the sacrifice necessary to summon an ancient god. But, as the colossal golden eyes seem ready to consume her, she finds herself in the embrace of a mysterious man. Saving my sweetheart. Despite being the daughter of the Holy Empire's most revered divine leader, Letitia is rumored to be a ruthless, bloodthirsty tyrant. The thing is, none of the rumors are true. After years of living as her vindictive mother's scapegoat, Letitia is ultimately cursed to die if she doesn't kill her beloved husband, King Detrian, with her own two hands. But when the clock miraculously resets to mere days before their wedding, she gets a second chance to save not only Detrian, but his entire kingdom. This time, will the world recognize the real Letitia before it's too late? Or is history doomed to repeat itself? Rewrite my tragic ending. Alicia Melfont vows to restore the former glory of her house after the Dark God's agent massacres her family. But when a mysterious book reveals that she's only a supporting character meant to die for the true protagonist of the story, Alicia decides she won't let some silly book determine her fate. <laughs>